Good day to you all and I hope you are well. Today we're looking at thankfulness and the question I'm sure people will be asking is what possibly can we be thankful for at this present time? I'm not sure about you but there have been times where I've been a total grump and not seen anything to be thankful for. Even chocolate hasn't tasted the same and those that know me will understand that comment very well. But even in the darkest times even in those times of despair, that is when we do need to be thankful. When we need to praise our God. That is when we lift our eyes and thank him for his grace and favour. That is when we thank him for all that is and what will be. But what is thankfulness then? Well, it's an act of appreciation of what is good in and around us. And even through these foggiest times, there is always something to be thankful for. It doesn't have to be a big thing. It can be a small reminder that actually we've made it through this day. 
Just last Sunday, we celebrated the resurrection of Jesus. I wonder how many Easter eggs you did get. And it was truly something to be thankful for. But whether we believe in God or not, the act of thankfulness enables us to look at the positive through the negative. But when you centre your thankfulness on God, you actually see an extension of his glory in your lives. And we also see the affirmation of his love. We can never be too thankful for what we have in our lives. And right now, We concentrate our thanks on the key workers, on the shop workers, on the bin men, on all those that are putting their lives on the line to keep us safe. It's never too much to say thank you, to be grateful, because we have so much to be grateful for. It's never too much to say thank you to our family, to our friends, our neighbours. And it's never too much to say thank you to God for the sacrifice he's made and for always loving us the way he does. Thank you.
Dear Lord Jesus, today I confess my need of you. I thank you for dying on the cross so that I might have life. I thank you for forgiving me of my sins. I thank you for loving me and thank you for the privilege of loving you. Please give me the strength to follow after you with all my heart and soul and to bring glory to your name. I commit my life into your hands. I will love and honor you forever, for this is my desire. Amen.